Paul, 3 0 through to the next round. Initial thoughts on that one? Um, thought we were excellent. I thought we, um, it's another step in the right direction for us as a, as a team. I thought uh, the way we approached it, our mindset throughout the game was excellent. And um, I'm really proud of the lads. I thought, I thought they performed excellent. Uh, you talked a lot in the build-up about making sure we were up for this one and we didn't take it lightly. Um, you mentioned it there briefly. How, just how proud are you that we, we actually came out and treated this with the, with the respect that it deserved? Well, you only have to look at the, the team we come up against, the record they've got, um, you know, the finances they've got here, the players they've got here, and, and the scalps they've taken here. And um, you know, I, I read the, you know, the manager's, um, you know, his thoughts on on the build-up to the game, and, and he was very, very confident that that they cause uh, an upset. So um, well, that, that's uh, that, that's football. It was a tough cup tie. It had all the hallmarks of a of a cup tie. It was raining. The pitch was boggy. Um, we had a, you know, our opponents were pumped up and um, with an excellent record at home and, and heading in the right direction. So, uh, you know, these games are never easy. Um, but uh, we approached it right and, and we got our rewards, I thought, you know, from 1 to 11 and, and even, you know, the, when, when we made changes, you know, we were, uh, we were excellent. It was a feisty game in, at times and it was uh, quite fiery. Of course, Marcus Kelly seeing uh, red there, but uh, you must be pleased with how well the 10 men did to not only hold on but then score an additional goal to, to really seal the game yeah I thought especially when we went down to 10 men uh, I thought you know the possession we, we had um, how articulate we were with the ball uh, we kept our shape and um, I think special mention needs to give to, to Azza because you know when you're up there working on your own against a, a back four um, you know he, he worked extremely well but but used his, his experience his intelligence uh, very very well our shape was really, really good, and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy that you know we've, we've come here, uh, which was a, it's a banana skin. It's, um, but if I'm going to be totally honest, I wanted to learn something about the squad today. I, you know, it was very easy for us to go out there, and uh, we're elite in a high league, and um, just think we can turn up and win. I thought the way we put ourselves around, won individual battles, um, pushed our psychology onto the game, passed the ball really well when we wanted to, when we needed to. Um, yeah, I thought it was, a, it was, a, it was a, a massive learning curve for us, which we've come through. And um, like I say, it's another step in the right direction for, for this group. You said there about personal battles, and I know you said before we started, you don't want to talk too much about referees. Did you feel Peterborough were, at times, a little bit over-robust with the way they were approaching some of the challenges and, and the way that they responded maybe to some of the challenges being put in by Kettering players? No, look, there were some tough challenges out there. Uh, I personally thought that... There should have been um, a couple of yellow, extra yellow cards, second yellow cards. I thought the tackle on Azza was was a straight red, if I'm going to be totally honest. But look, it's you know when we come to places like this, you know we expect no favours. Um, we didn't get any favours. Um, I thought the referee could have made a lot more sort of decisions that were that were better and, uh, and a little bit less probably um, as I feel one-sided. But um, look, you know. I warned the boys before we came here. Uh, I anticipated uh, a very partisan atmosphere. Uh, I knew that they'd be up for it. Um, we knew it's a tight pitch that was, that was, you know, really, really bobbly and and and, and really soggy. Um, it had all the hallmarks of, a, of an upset. Um, we could be sat here, sort of like you know, down in the dumps and, and just been kicked out of the FA Trophy uh, with a side that's done it to, to clubs at a higher level in the FA Cup. So, um, look, I don't want to talk about referees, linesmen, um, we knew it was all coming. Uh, what I want us to do is, is to plan and prepare accordingly, get our mindset, mindset right so, we, so we're not here after a game making excuses. I'd rather go away from a game and go, we kind of anticipated that and um, you know we've come through it. And that's the kind of mindset I'm trying to build with these players. Um, what is tough is that you know, we've just lost Kells now, uh, Mills has come off with an injury, we've lost Scarzi. And we, you know, we're down to the bare bones. You know, it's, um, it's, uh, you know, that's going to need looking at if we want to keep, you know, carry on progressing and and, and growing. So um, that's a worry, and we'll try and sort that out sort of next week. And but you know, today I want to I want to celebrate. <laughs> Once again, supporters were amazing. Lose a man, man down, 
and the volume goes up even more and um, they deserve another special mention and uh, they sucked the lads through they pulled the lads through and um, I keep saying I say it every week you know we need to give them something to shout about and when we have they, they see we're working hard they see we're trying to progress then they'll back us 100% which they have done so um, it's been a good day good day for the football club back down on a you know on Monday just get feet back down on the ground enjoy have a look at the draw um, but then we need to um, we need to you know think forward into, into into a big game on Saturday yeah it's a long trip you said you learned wanted to learn a few things about the team today um, what are we taking forward into Saturday what have you learned what uh, what sort of our preparation going to be without giving too much away obviously well we need some bodies in it's as simple as that um, that's not rocket science you know we, we, we had the sort of you know the, the 16 players today um, we've lost a couple uh, well we've lost two or three um, uh, if we approach the game, any game, and that's how we've got to do it now, I've just said to the boys in there, they, they're raising their own bar now. If we approach any game like we do, then uh, I'm not saying not, not, not saying that we'll win every week, but we're a very, very hard team to beat. And, um, you know, that's when I, I start and smile a little bit. When I know that we've got a group that uh, have got that design application to win consistently week in, week out, then I am not say the job becomes easy, but it... it you know, you, you, you can you can relax and, and, and sort of look at your players in a different light. But um, it's early days, early days yet. I'm, I'm not happy. I, I don't know what that is now. Four or five, I don't know, it's six unbeaten. Um, I think there's four wins in there. Um, I'm getting carried away. It's um, it's what it is at this minute. And um, we've got a lot of the season to play. Massive league games now in, in, in front of us. And uh, we need to approach those games like, we, like we've done the last four or five. Brilliant. Well, well done again. Uh, we'll look forward to the draw and we'll see you next week at Gloucester. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you.